you tuned in to Open Studio, Cape Town TV Channel 263. I'm your host, Tabansi Haichu. Thank you so much that you could join us again on this special segment where we're going to be having a special guest coming on. And as most of you know, this show is actually a platform where um, viewers, members, general members of community can come in and actually share about their community initiatives that which you are doing in and around your community to the benefit of the community. And if you'd like to be part of the show, won't you drop us an email at janaid at capetowntv.org and somebody will actually get a hold of you. Thank you so much that you could be with us once again. So on today's show, we have mm. Mr. <laughs> Kasim Musim. Am I saying right? Yes, that's correct. Thank, Thank you so you. much from Vision Child and, and Youth Care Center. Center. Awesome stuff. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. <laughs> so great to have you. Thank you for being here. No problem. Thank you. Wonderful. Amazing stuff. I was hearing when I was speaking to yeah. your colleague earlier on about, you know, the amazing work that you've done. Yeah. You've reached a couple of sound milestones, hey? That's 30 right. years you've been around. That's great. That yes. is phenomenal. Well done to you and the Thank team. You. Indeed. Thank you. Awesome stuff. So for our viewers out there, they're probably wondering, well, who is Mr. Kasim Musim? Yeah. Why don't you just go <laughs> through us, take us your journey? Yeah, so I am Kwasi Musimi. I am a father of a beautiful nine-year-old girl. I have completed my studies at Islamia College. I did a year of religious studies. I did some tertiary study at College of Cape Town. I did business studies. Mm -hmm. And I'm currently working at Vision Child and Youth Care Center. I am the center manager there. And part of my duties at the center is to make sure that there's a smooth running at our center. Wonderful. And how did that come about? How did you end up there? So I was working at our car wash at Red. And I think one of our customers uh, approached me mm -hmm. and he told me that he's opening a, a new business and he asked me if I'd be interested. And I firstly, uh, I said yes and I worked for him for quite a, uh, about three years. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Vision gave me a call, the founder of Vision, and he told me there's an opening. Oh. And he asked me if I'd like to work for him and I didn't even hesitate. Oh, I just said amazing. yes. Just said yes. I and said yes, and up from back. that time, I'm still working at Vision Child and Youth Care Center. Fantastic. You look like you are having a ball there. Like you're really <laughs> doing what you love. Yes, I love it. How does your day look like? So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a crazy day. Can you <laughs> it's imagine? busy because the kids are with us most of the time. Mm -hmm. ah, sorry for that. Because of COVID, so our kids are quite uh, most of the time at home, so That's it right. gets very busy. So we have our kids that we need to see too. I have staff that I also need to see to that falls under me, so it gets quite busy. But our team that we have, uh, I think we complement each other very nicely. So there is a quite a smooth running at our centre. That's amazing. It makes things That's very easy for one another. Exactly. You yeah. know, that, uh, uh, having a perfect team there we just go. makes Teamwork. everything yeah. Yeah, work so smoothly. What do you enjoy the most about that which you do? Uh, so, like I said, the fact that we have an amazing team, mm -hmm. you know, the fact that we, we help each other, the fact that we can lean on one another and motivate each other, that I think is the biggest and, and most important thing that makes your work so much easy. You know, the, just the fact that we have each other's backs mm -hmm. when we need that, you know, and the fact that I get to work with the kids, you know, uh, some of them I grew up with and some of them are obviously kids that I've never seen before, but. Mm -hmm. I got to know them since I've been working at Vision. So being in that environment again, that's an amazing feeling for myself. Right. So that is what makes my day. That's so amazing. Like I can only imagine, I mean, I spoke to your colleague and she was like, whoa, with the yeah. young, you guys are just forever buzzing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it is quite an involved role that you play. I mean, managing the center alone. Yeah. It's quite a, a lot of work I can imagine. I know that you have uh, quite a number of things, you know, activities mm -hmm. that the organization does from owning a charity shop That's to great. having a publication. Won't you just That's take great. us through those? So, uh, so basically, uh, running Vision is not my only task and it's not me alone. So. Like I said, we have our founder there. Mm -hmm. uh, we have someone, uh, we have our chief director who is Naima, so she's also there. And we also have our team. Mm -hmm. So it's not me alone, it's a team it's a work team. there. Definitely, yeah. I cannot do it it's alone. Family thing. It's a family. <laughs> so without them, I don't think I would be able to do it. So it's a teamwork, firstly. And then, uh, so yeah, like you said, we have our publication, which is our vision advertiser. Mm -hmm. So that is something that we deliver around Cape Town, the Western Cape. It's a free publication. And that is just to get awareness for people to be aware more about vision. And that is in high demand. You know, I, we sometimes do deliveries and the people request, can we have more, can we have more? But unfortunately, we can only deliver a certain amount right. because of funds and because of obviously the cost that goes in printing these publications, you know. And then, yes, we also have our three charity shops. Uh, we have one in Belgravia, we have one in Weinberg and one in Paro. 
So uh, that helps us a lot. You know, it brings in that funds that we don't get from community like we used to before. And we do understand, obviously, it's mm -hmm. been COVID, so it's been difficult all over. But our charity shops, because it's second and things, you know, mm -hmm. items, clothing, food items, it's furniture, it helps us a lot. It yeah, helps us to keep the doors open. To keep the doors there open, we go. exactly. So if somebody could be watching right now, if you're trying to figure out, okay, how does the charity shop part work? Mm -hmm. Like if I want to support the organization, yeah. how, how, what is the process involved in that? So if they would like to support our charity shops, yes. they would like to give donations, okay. yes. So anytime, you know, we, they can call us. You know, they're welcome. So our, I think our number has been given before, but our number is 021-692-1129 or 49. They can call us to do a collection. Right. Or they can come and drop off at our center or at any of our charity shops. Either way, we, does, we can do that. Does this involve certain kinds of items or is it anything? It is anything that is resellable. You know? okay. and, and firstly, we normally, when people donate, we always see what we can utilize at the center first. Mm -hmm. Because obviously the children's home comes first before the charity shops. That's right. And from there on, we would then give it to our charity shops and sell it to the community and things. And I must say the support has been phenomenal. That is amazing. Because it's second and items. Right. People come in, people buy, people ask, where is this, where is that, can we have more? But it's all because of community support that mm -hmm. we have these items. Mm -hmm. And for you within your role, you know, one that I assume is very demanding from where, <laughs> <laughs> from where I'm sitting. How, how have you just been keeping it um, sane, mm. you know, throughout the COVID saga? Uh, so... Uh, I don't think it would have been possible without my support of the team that we have. Honestly, you know, uh, it's been difficult during COVID specifically, mm -hmm. you know, having the kids around 24-7. Oh, it's, yeah. it's tiring. You're and it's trying busy. to entertain them and keep them. <laughs> we need to occupy them. We have our own work that we need to do at the same time. Yeah, so it, yeah. can get, it can be tough at times. But honestly, the team that we have, the fact that we have these people that easy to support you, to help you, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Yeah, you know, yeah. and, and the motivation we get from our founder, you yes. know, trying to drive us and trying to keep us in. I understand he's at the center full time. Sorry? Is he at the center Yes, he's time also the house father. He's at the center 24 7. Hands on. Hands on. Every day. <laughs> so that. he supports us. Yeah, he guides amazing. us. He's our father figure there as well. So he, he's, a, he's a great help for us. Wonderful. You know, viewers at home, again, this is uh, the kind of organizations in and around mm -hmm. Cape Town that are doing phenomenal work 30 years in, 30 right? Years. And then there was yeah. something else you are celebrating. What is it? Um, there's something as well that your colleague mentioned. I know that it's 30 years, but there was something else. But I'm sure when you come back, you, you would remember Here we what go, it is, definitely. right? <laughs> so with that, you know, let's work together as a collective and support mm -hmm. this amazing organization by just going out there and supporting, especially their charity shops and publications, because it's a way and a means throughout how they actually fundraise in order to support the kids. When we come back, we're going to pack a little bit more about that which they do and how you and I can play a role. Don't go away. Welcome back. If you've just tuned in, I'm Taban Sakaichi, your host. This is Open Studio, Cape Town TV, Channel 263. And I'm speaking to an amazing gentleman by the <laughs> name you. of Kasim, <laughs> who's doing amazing work. You, you know, although he doesn't really want to tell us a lot that goes into yeah. his day-to-day -day activities. But I understand just, I can just imagine being a manager of a center like that, yeah. how demanding your role must be. And within that as well, I understand that you manage child care workers. That's you know, uh, you, you see to it that they attend to their duties. What is involved in that? So uh, our child care workers plays a huge role. Uh, like you can hear the term child. Yes. So they see to our residents, our, ch mm -hmm. our children. And uh, they play a huge role. They have to see to it that when they come from school, they get undressed, that they pack away their school clothing, that the lunches get, uh, the lunch boxes get given in, wow. that they do Good. their homework. It's like a normal mother, mm -hmm. mother a motherly figure that mm -hmm. they have to play that role. You know, so uh, it's, it's a lot that they have to do. And uh, obviously, without them, uh, things can get difficult at times, you know. So Imagine. I know there are times that when they are sick or when they're absent, you mm -hmm. know, we need to fill their roles. Mm -hmm. And we have our support staff that helps us a lot as well. Mm -hmm. You know, they, that is where they again come in. They assist when one of our kids are not able to see to our kids when they are absent because of whatever reason. So mm -hmm. they wouldn't fill that role, mm -hmm. you know. And it, like I said, it, it involves seeing to their daily activities being washed, having meals, going up for pre-time, 
seeing that their homework gets work. done, mm -hmm. all those integrities that they have full to see time. full time. Yes. That's phenomenal. That yeah. is amazing. And then you have to also make sure that all so, of that is done. Yes, it's my it's wow. my responsibility to make sure that they do their tasks. Mm -hmm. It's also my responsibility to make sure that they are motivated and that they are kept, uh, that they are kept happy and that they are also keep driven, you know, because like I said, it, it can be tough at times, you know, and it, it does get difficult. I mean, I'm a parent myself, so I know. And yeah. dealing with more than two kids, one kid, <laughs> it can be tough. It you know, is, we, have a, a, we have a center now full of 25 children. Yeah. At one point, we had, many years ago, we had about 65. So no, now we have 22, so you'll see the last difference. But the caliber of the kids back then to now, it's a huge difference that's as correct, well. So correct. the 22 is equivalent to 65 as Actually, well. Actually, <laughs> if not double, right? If not double. <laughs> <laughs> that is so tricky. So that's they have a lot on it late as well. Mm. So yeah, we give a lot of things for them because it's a, it is a difficult job at times, but we thank them for the, the, the work that they do as well. That's just, I think yeah. they're phenomenal people. No, they like, are definitely. It's amazing. It takes, it takes a special kind of person to do that kind definitely. of work. Definitely. And I understand that the little ones are quite fond of you they uh. run around following <laughs> around <laughs> so yeah they like i said i i i previously lived at vision uh, that was many years ago i lived at vision for about nine years and growing up there i grew up with some of the kids that are currently still at vision mm -hmm. so obviously they call me buddha mm -hmm. you know and the ones that are there now that i never grew up with they latched onto that, so they also call me Buddha. And That's so I've, I've, I've been given that figure and that, that role as a Buddha yeah, to them, yeah, you know. they look and up to you. There they, we go. That's amazing. Uh, when they see me, it's Buddha Kasi in this, Buddha Kasi in there, Buddha Kasi can have a sweet, all this, you know. So they follow me around, not necessarily only for sweets and things, which is definitely part of, of it. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but also just to be around, you mm -hmm. know, uh, sometimes just to talk. Yeah. Or if they need yeah. help with homework or if they want to ask me for anything. Yeah, then they follow me. Along. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful <laughs> bond I have to say that you have with the little ones. Uh, thank you. And thank I understand you. that you were nominated um, as as staff member two years in a row. Ah, that's, yes. Yeah. How was it like that? Having <laughs> that on, having received that award. So yes, uh, it was twice that I received that award, and you know it, it does feel good uh, being acknowledged mm -hmm. and being seen that your work is being taken note of. You know. Um, mm -hmm. But at, at the same time, you, you feel that you can do so much more. Mm -hmm. And I definitely feel that I can. Mm -hmm. you know, so having won that award twice doesn't mean that I, I feel that, oh, I'm good, I'm this and that. No, I feel that I even feel more motivated to try and do so much more. That's amazing. You know, and, and I feel that that is what we all do at our center. You know? We try and do things differently every day. And we try and beat ourselves every day for the kids because at the end of the day we work there for the kids so 100%. we try and make their lives as easy and better as possible you know so yeah it, it, it was a good feeling 100 percent. and and i mentioned you know in the previous segment that um you you, you were celebrating two milestones and the that's other correct. the other is about your publication, the publication right? that's it, correct, it's yes. been long running for about 20, year, 10 years now that's correct. what do you think is the magic touch there so uh, yeah it's, it's been a it's, it's grown from a size a5 Mm -hmm. currently A4. Mm -hmm. And when it was A5, it used to be only black and white. Oh, wow. And now we have a color publication, you know. And that, like I said, it, it creates an awareness. Mm -hmm. And it's something that we deliver all around the Western Cape. And it's a free, and free of charge uh, mm -hmm. publication. So the support that we get from the advertisers, that is the reason why we can obviously do that publication. Mm -hmm. And the support that we get from that publication, because we make people aware of vision, mm -hmm. we make people aware of our daily needs, what they can do to assist, and that helps a lot with regards to our publication and growing our publication as well. Wonderful. And, and where do you think you would need most of the support? I understand that corporates, we know that corporates have kind of like, you know, uh, kept a low profile, yes, if I should put yes. it that way, since COVID has That's hit. Correct, yes. um, who else are you? would you like to appeal to to come and support this amazing organization? Uh, so, uh, like you said, corporates definitely, you know, uh, all over, you know, yes. even government, you know, definitely mm -hmm. government support. And like I, our most support that we normally receive from is our communities. Yes. And we are so grateful for our community support. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's not, f if it was not for them, definitely our doors would have closed a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So we are grateful for our community support, and we obviously would want them to in to keep on doing what they are doing. Well, I really do admire the you know 
the organization, the work that you guys Thank do, you. and even you as individuals, and you know, speaking Thank to you. your Thank colleagues you. as well, you seem like a closely knit family, you know, Thank which is amazing. Um, I understand that you obviously have plans, you are currently doing amazing things. Yeah. Five to ten years from now, where do you see the organization? So, uh, we want to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely, we want to cater for more kids because we know there are so many kids that need assistance. You know, we drive around and we see kids on the road and then you feel, oh, what can you do for That's these kids? Right. So we definitely want to grow. You know, we want to expand our, our premises one day. You know, that is one of our, our intentions so that we can mm -hmm. cater for more kids. We want to have a bigger premises so that we yes. can be able to have our kids play on the field, you mm -hmm. know, because currently we have a double story, yes. But yes. we don't have space for our kids to play. Yes. So they use the yard. Mm -hmm. They use the passages to play. Mm -hmm. And at times it can get loud. And at times it can get frustrating because you're supposed to it's be working. But it's all this noise, yeah. you know, these distractions. Mm -hmm. But there's no place for them to play, you know. And we are in a residential area, so we need mm -hmm. to cater for our neighbors as well. Mm -hmm. Because we get neighbors' complaints, you know. Yeah, right. So, uh, yes, we definitely want to grow. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's not getting another premises, it would be my hopefully buying someone's premises and you know, opening a, a, a place for parking, opening a place for them to play, opening an extra place where we can cater for more kids as well. Hundred percent. I feel like that's an appeal for a property developer out there who could <laughs> be interested, you know, in just playing a role in giving back into the community. Definitely. When we come back, um, we're going to continue the conversation. Please don't go away. Thank you for watching. Watching Open Studio. This is Cape Town TV Channel 263. I'm your host, Tavan Zahaichu. An amazing guest we have today on the <laughs> show. Thank you. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Doing a phenomenal job, like Thank I can you. only imagine, um, you know, being a centre manager and yeah. having to manage so many um, things, you know, especially the little ones yeah. and the childcare workers. I mean, it's quite involved that which you do. Thank I understand you. that you are a very God-fearing man. Um, and how does that translate into the, the kind of work that you do? So, uh, we try, <laughs> we all do try, definitely. Um, so we are, we cater for mostly Muslims. It's mm -hmm. not that we don't cater for other religions, we do. Mm -hmm. It's just that currently we have majority of our kids are currently Muslim, mm -hmm. you know? So, uh, like you said, how does it fall into my job environment? So we, we try and raise our kids based on our religion firstly, and we try and implement that on them every day, you mm -hmm. know? Just to remind them, you know, about your prayers, about what your religion is when it comes to, to respect, how you should be dressed, how you should treat one another, you know, how you should just be as a normal person, you know. So we, we do that so that one day when they leave vision, you know, they can say that I've learned this, you know. That's right. uh, I can say definitely from being an ex resident of vision, you know, it's helped me a lot as a person, you know. I, I never knew that I would have been able to have religious studies. Sorry, I never knew that I would be able to one day complete my matric to further my studies as well. So it's been a, a, a good journey for me. And the fact that I've learned my religious studies through vision mm -hmm. has helped me to then give it over to my, the residents that we have currently, you know. So that has been a good job for myself. So would you say that is part of the reason why you decided to go back to, to vision, to give back sort of? You know? uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely partly, but uh, it's mostly because vision has helped me a lot as a person, you know, and I have been at different homes before, you know, at children's homes, at uh, homes that cater for parents with children. And if I have to compare vision to those homes, I would definitely say that vision is and has been so for the best home for me. You know, it's helped me as a person, like I said, you know, and not just myself, my, I had a sibling with me as well. He's grown as well and it's helped us as well, you know. It's helped our parents as well because what vision does, it's not just cater for the kids. Yes, they focus mostly on the kids because it's the kids' well-being that they need to see to. But at the same time, they try and keep contact with our parents that we have, you know and try and, uh, and get parents involved and trying to better the parents as well. So, so yes, I, I decided to come back because I know what Vision did for me and I would like to have done the same for the residents that we currently have 
and that we had before that as well. That is so powerful. I really, I really do admire you for Thank that. You. <laughs> really, really powerful. And Thank um, for you, you know, you mentioned something <coughs> quite critical about the importance um, of, of grooming or mm. raising the children in a foundation that is That's solid, great. you know, with morals and That's principles. Great. How critical do you think that is, especially in the days we live in? No, definitely it's really important. You know, if, if we want our kids to have respect, if we want our kids to grow up to be good professionals one day, you know, to have good jobs, to have good lives, mm -hmm. you know, it starts from the bottom and That's it right. starts at home, mm -hmm. you know, so the foundation that we set at home when it comes to respect, when it comes to your religion, when it comes to education or anything, that is very important for us mm -hmm. and that is where our foundation stands on, you know, trying and every day to remind him, you know, you are this person, yes. this is the way you should live your life. You know, just trying to remind him and not forcing him, but trying to remind him, you know, that's just the way life should be. Yeah. Because one day when you leave vision, you're going to be on your own. That's right. You know, so you should be able to carry that on on your own. One day you're going to be a parent as well. Mm -hmm. How are you going to give it over to your kids? Like I said, I'm a father now, you know, so like I have learned a lot. So I try and inculcate that into my daughter as well, you yes. know, so that one day that when she's on her own, when she's grown, she can do the same for herself as well. Oh my goodness, yes, you are a father as well mm. and you're doing such phenomenal work. Thank How you. do you find the balance between the two? You know, <laughs> I can but just imagine. Yeah. I'm also a mom, so I know exactly what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, no, uh, it, it is difficult at times, you know, but I, I, I think on my weekends, you know, I, I try my best to spend as much time with her as I can. You know, uh, I was just speaking to one of my colleagues yesterday, you know, we got the message from the school. This is the homework for the Easter weekend. And it's Easter a lot of weekend. homework <laughs> for the Easter weekend. So, yes, you want to have time with him, you want to play with him, you want to take him out, yeah, but yeah. you also have to focus on homework, you know. But at the same time, it's, it's important, you know, and I try my best, like I said, on my weekends, on my days off, to spend as much time with her, take her out, take her with her friends, have just time with her on her own, or just do whatever she would like to do. Amazing, you know, you you and your colleague and everybody else, the mm. entire team, you give so much back you know, you. to the organization. We but try. it's, it's, the, it's <laughs> the nation at large that ends up benefiting, right? Because now you are raising upright standing citizens of tomorrow. Yeah. So really, I, I really adore that which you do. Thank you. You're doing phenomenal work. And how, if somebody's watching right now, and they're thinking to themselves, how can I partake? How can mm. I assist? What role can they play in terms of supporting the organization? So, like I said, they can contact us anytime. You know, they can email us anytime. They can come to our doorstep anytime, you know. Mm -hmm. We have this way, we have volunteers. Uh, you know, we have some dedicated volunteers that has been with us for over 15 years. Oh, wow. You know, that That's has a been time. a volunteer, that has been a tutor for me when I was a resident. Mm. And it is currently a tutor the after I've even left. You know, so we have dedicated volunteers, you know. So we accept volunteers all the time because we need help. We need assistance. Whether it is at our children's home, whether it is at our charity shop, whether it is with regards to uh, tuition, whether it is with regards to just helping at the home itself, mm -hmm. we always appreciate anyone's help. Fantastic. So viewers, there you have it. Um, you've laid out so beautifully the Thank different you. avenues one could actually get, <laughs> get involved Thank you. in. And how do we get a hold of you? So uh, we, I can give you our, our contact number at our, at our home. It's 021-692-1129 or 1149. And then we all also have our email address that they can call, uh, that they can email at vision mm -hmm. vision at mweb.co.za. Okay. So that is our contact. And you're on social media as well. Yes, we are. So we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on TikTok as well. So they can always find us on all those social media platforms as well. Fantastic. So if you are at home, there you have it. There is a way you are very highly accessible <laughs> on those multiple <laughs> platforms, which is go, great yes. and awesome. So really, I feel like there is a role that, that each person can play in um, by just finding out and visiting the website to find out which is it that you are able to do. Definitely. And, um, you know, that really, unfortunately, I would love to still, you know, chat with you, but yeah. we've come to the end of the show. Oh. <laughs> and thank you so much, though, you know, for, for having made the time to come through and thank chat you. with us. I, I, I would like to say thank you to yourself and to your team as well and thank you to ctv for giving us this opportunity to create this bit of awareness you know and like i said uh, we want to thank our our regulars and to those who are intending on still coming on board so thank you very much to yourself as well Wonderful. we appreciate everything you do as well thank, so thank you. you we appreciate you for what thank you, you do <laughs> thank you so much no viewers at home we'll see each other again um same time same place i'm taban sakai and thank you for watching this is open studio cape town tv channel 263
a good evening for me.